Online, on the go. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. Do you have enough insurance for the next big storm? It's a question a lot of people have been asking since the weekend tornadoes. So what is the right amount? Fox Toledo, Sean Hegarty has been searching for that answer. So what'd you find? Well, I'll let you know that in talking with an insurance agent today, one thing that people need to think about is that you need to have enough money, insurance money, to replace the home if you need be. So you don't want to have just enough insurance money for the value of the home. A lot of people don't realize that. And the values can be very different, which can end up hurting you in the end. Let me give you an example. If your home is worth $100,000, your policy needs to cover over $100,000 because it might cost more than that to complete completely rebuild it. It's something not a lot of people consider. So many people here in Millbury will need to completely rebuild. That's why it's good to have coverage on what are called replacement costs. Those costs change based on the cost of labor, the cost of materials, a lot of factors that go into that. So the advice is to check your policy every few years because those costs might change. And if you don't have enough coverage for the replacement cost... It comes out of your pocket, sweat it, with the maybe. You know, some people think they can do a lot of work themselves and cut some costs. A replacement cost is something that's generated by your insurance company's formula. It's different than your appraised value or even your market value. Typically those amounts are less than replacement costs. So when they go to take care of their home or take care of their insurance, they're looking at all these other estimates and saying, well, this is what my house is worth and it has nothing to do with what it costs to rebuild the house exactly to the same standards. Here's another tip. Take inventory of what's in your house so you know what items should be covered. A lot of people do not know what they have and they've been in their homes for 20 years. They have all kinds of things, all kinds of clothes, all kinds of uh, TVs. And now, as for that inventory list, Make sure it's not on your home computer because that could be damaged in the storm. Keep it in a safe place outside your home.